Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got so many messages from you guys asking what are the best courses for both data analyst and data scientist. And this is exactly what we're gonna cover in today's video. For those of you who are new here, I'm Lore, I'm a data analyst working at Amazon, and there are at least three main reasons why I'm suggesting exactly these courses. The first reason is that when I started my journey in the data analytics space, I had to do tons of courses. And actually some of them were quite useless, so you know, I don't want you to waste any more time. And so from my experience, because I completed most of these courses, I can guarantee you that these are the best of the best online. The second reason is that all of these courses sit in only one platform. And so, you know, you don't have to juggle between different websites to take courses. And also, if you're like me, you will enjoy being able to keep track of all the progresses and maybe, uh, you know, start different courses at the same time in only one place. And third reason, and probably the main one, is that when you take courses, you wanna maximize the learning, obviously, but you also want to maximize the recognition that you can get from these courses. And this is why I've selected courses that are sponsored by the top tech companies out there, and this will be massively helpful when you uh, show off your skills to a recruiter or a company in your interviewing process. And so I will group the following courses into two categories. The first one is what I call the holistic courses. So these are the courses that will give you a 360 degree view of what is needed to become either a data analyst or a data scientist. And the second group is what I call the specific courses. And these are the courses that will deep dive into technical skills that are required to be a data analyst and data scientist. By the way, I will leave in the video description down below all the links of the courses that we're gonna cover. And without further ado, let's get into the so what of this video. So the first holistic course that I will definitely recommend is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. And if you were already searching for data analytics courses, you might have seen that this one is by far the most popular one at the moment. And so this course is great because it will give you an idea of what is needed in the data analytics space end to end from start to finish. And also the great thing is that upon completion, you will get a certificate with the Google logo on it. And so if we quickly look at the modules, this will cover the foundations of data, the questions that you need to ask yourselves to uh, make data-driven decisions, how to prepare data for exploration, the process to clean the data, also the actual process to analyze uh, data, and also a bit of uh, data visualizations, uh, data analysis with R, and the part that is probably my favorite is the final capstone project, uh, which you can also add to your portfolio. And so a small caveat about this course, this is definitely recommended for complete beginners in the data analytics space, because it will give you this whole idea of what is needed in the industry, but without really going into much detail in each specific modules. In case you're looking for something a bit more advanced, but still at a holistic view, then the next one is definitely for you. I'm talking about the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate. And so, as I said, this course will go in a bit more details on all the technical skills that are required for a data analyst. And so you will definitely learn a lot about Excel, uh, SQL, Python, and also Tableau. And I actually learned a lot of Python from this course, which to me is kind of a plus compared to the Google one, which actually goes a bit more into detail on our programming language, which is a bit less in demand. And one caveat of this course is that even if it's still for beginners, I found it a bit more challenging to complete compared to the Google one. And the beauty of this course is that it has a lot of modules that are actually included in the third course that I'm suggesting you, which is the IBM Data Science Professional Certificate. And again, amazing course because it will give you a certificate with the IBM logo on it. But I would suggest you this course only if you're interested to explore more skills that are required for a data scientist position as opposed to a data analyst. And so modules will be more focused on machine learning, for example. Now let's move to what we call specific courses, which will cover mainly one specific technical skill required for data analysts and data scientists. And the one that I will definitely recommend is what is called Work Smarter with Microsoft Excel. And well, I'm recommending this because Excel still remains one of the most popular tools used by both data analysts and data scientists. And this course is offered by Microsoft itself. So again, powerful way when you have to show off your certifications to recruiters and companies. And if we look at the modules, the course is divided into five sections, 
The first one, getting started with Excel, will cover the foundation of the Microsoft tool. Then you're gonna cover the functions in Excel and then also how to visualize data in Excel. So you might think of uh, how to use pivot table and then you're gonna cover advanced Excel features like conditional formatting and also again at the end a very practical exercise kind of applying what you learn in the course. Next up in the list is what is called Learn SQL Basics for Data Science. This one is not offered by a company but is still offered by an amazing organization which is the University of California and this is probably the best of the best SQL courses out there so definitely definitely recommend it especially because SQL is again one of the most common tools for both data analysts and data scientists. And so this course will definitely go into much more details on SQL compared to the Google and IBM certificates that we've seen before. And if we again look at the modules online on the Coursera website, we can see you will have a course number one, which is SQL for data science. Then the next one is probably the, the main one here, will cover data wrangling analysis and also A-B testing with uh, SQL. And then at the end, you will again have a very, very important module, which is the data science capstone project. And so again, you will end up having one more project to add to your portfolio. And now if you want to get into Python programming language, then Python for everybody is absolutely the best one out there. Now, the only caveat of this course is that this is not data analytics specific, but this will give you a very broad understanding of Python as a whole, which is something that I definitely recommend you. So it's you know much better to have the foundation of Python programming language and then do another course that is more specific to data analytics. And so if we look at the modules, there are actually five modules in this course. So the first will give you the foundation about Python, then you're gonna cover data structures, then also using Python to access web data. So this is amazing for web scraping, then using databases with Python. And at the end, a very powerful capstone project that you can add to your portfolio. And here you will retrieve, process and visualize data with Python. Now, moving on to data visualization, this is absolutely the best course that I would recommend you. And this is called Data Visualization with Tableau. This is actually the first course that I've done myself when I started my data analytics journey. So I would definitely recommend this to you. Also because to me, Tableau is by far the number one BI tool for data analysts and data scientists. And so this course will give you the basic design principles whenever you have to build a dashboard and actually will give you again the possibility to create your own dashboard within Tableau to add to your own portfolio. However, if you prefer using uh, Power BI, then this one is definitely for you and it's called Getting Started with Power BI Desktop. Now, this is a guided project which means that in two hours you will follow step by step how to uh, create a dashboard within Power BI, which again, you will be able to add to your portfolio. And if you look into this course, you will cover an introduction and foundation of Power BI. You will understand how to import data, uh, fix the column names, so a bit of cleaning there, how to transform the data and create the final reports and also adding different filters and features to your dashboard. And well, if you enjoy watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And also make sure to check this other video that I made on how to recreate the data analytics portfolio that helped me land in multiple data analyst jobs. And well, have a great rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.